guys, Mike Gross here at RockingGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. That's Dream Theater with Beyond This Life per request of one of my subscribers, Thomas 3 dg Now, you guys that have been following me, man, know what I think of Dream Theater. Um, as a musician, me personally, I feed off that. I love it. Doesn't mean you have to. But um, they definitely keep you on your toes as a player. Petrucci's always kept me on my toes. So, uh motivates me like like crazy so let's jump into this man um you would be standard on your tuning i didn't check to see if because petrucci normally plays a seven string but i know if he is playing a seven string you don't need that top string for any of these parts so if it's a six string just tune it standard um he's starting out with these uh power these big power chords here go fourth fret e sixth fret a sixth fret d and you're going to hit string six through four three times. It'll go. Then move up to seven E, nine A, nine D. I like to bar that with my pinky. Some people do it with their third finger. Some people use three fingers total for it. This is how I prefer to do it. It's not that my way is the right way. It's just the way I like to do it. Okay, so. Um, so, you're going to move up to where I just told you and do that three times. So we have... And then go 3E, 5A, 5D. You're going to hit those three strings twice. And then move it a half step flat to 2E, 4A, 4D. If you have to subgroup these power chords, just go. Because what you want is to not stop the attack that's going on here, the beat, the rhythm. The 16th note, so 1E e and a 2E, but he's doing them in weird accents of 3, 3, 2, 2. But in essence, it's just... Okay, um, so what you just played was this, right? Do that three times total. I like to, when I figure out something or when I impart it to a student, I try to do what's called subgrouping and have you practice it in little pieces um, and then you build off that phrase, okay? It's like learning a language, learning the words and getting and growing with it rather than just try to tackle a whole paragraph, tackle a few words at a time and a few more make a sentence, you know what I mean? You picking up on what I'm putting down? All right, so we have three of those, right? The fourth one, go up to 8E, 10A, 10D. Go three times on strings six through four. Move it back a half step flat to 7E, 9A, 9D. Three times. And then go back another half step to 6E, 4, or 6E, 8A, 8D, go two times, move that back a half step to 5E, 7A, 7D, and do that two times. Now what I mean by, you know, building it like a sentence, you know, and building this, this, this sentence and then turning it into a paragraph, before you know it, you have the, the chapter, and the chapter is like the, the song, per se. So, subgroup these, if you have to, into just this part. I want you to get used to the beats. Three, three, two, two. Okay, that is one time. Let's call that a sentence. You're going to repeat yourself two more times on that sentence. So the whole progression there is. Okay, let's call that a sentence. That's one time. Do it all again and do it all again. So it's three times total. And then I want to show you the next part. This part's really cool, man. Petrucci. I love his playing. I love his style. I've always uh, kind of clung to his style of playing. I just He's a mix of all my favorites and like kind of combined into one, I, I guess. You know, Lynch and Malmsteen and um, Jakey Lee, like all those cats kind of mixed together. Steve Morris. So here we go. I want to show you that first. This is an odd time signature. Try to just memorize this phrase. Um, go uh, fourth fret E, and I personally would go middle finger, and I'm pretty sure that's how Petrucci's doing it. But experiment. Everyone's finger length is different. But you're going to need to lower your thumb down the neck a little bit because it's a stretch. Palm mute. So we're going to go four two four on the E, and then six A. That A, make sure you do that 6A, do that with your pinky. No palm muting on that, okay? The palm muting will be off the low E. 
Now we're going to repeat that, but we're, instead of going to the 6A, we're going to go to the 5A. So if you played all that, you'd have... And then repeat it again. So yeah. and somewhere before you hit... We're going to go back to 4 2 4 on the E, and then 3A. You may want to experiment with shifting the fingers around there. And that's really common for Dream Theater because their phrases are difficult, even their rhythms. So uh, experiment with the fingers, okay? I'm not one of those teachers that like to say, you have to do it with, you know, people's finger sizes are different, man. So um, experiment with it and try to find the common sense method that works best for you. Me personally, if you want to know what I'm doing, I'll go middle finger 4E, first finger 2E, then third finger 4E. I'm getting ready for this 3A. That's how I like to do doing this. Probably how Petrucci's doing it, but. And then 4E, 2E, palm mute those. So. And then start it over. Okay? We talked about building your words in a sentence. Well, here's your sentence. Also, I forgot to show you something. When you hit that third fret with your middle finger on the A, you want to actually pull off to the second fret. So, left that part out. So, then you go 4E, 2E, palm unit. There's a few words you can just go over and over. sentence. Do that whole sentence again. You're thinking, what is this dude talking sentences for? Try to explain it in a way that everyone will understand, especially with dream theater, because it's tricky. Bottom line is you want to memorize the patterns, and obviously you want to play everything clean. So, um, Three times of all that, so let's play that. three times. Fourth one is different. You start it over, 4E, 2E, 4E, palm muted, 6A, then 4E, 2E, palm muted. Back to 4E, and then we have a change. Okay, so let's jump up to this higher part, go uh, 8A, and I'd use third finger for that, and then go uh, middle finger 7E, palm mute, first finger 6E, palm mute, middle finger 7E, palm mute, so you have pinky 9A, third finger 8A, so we have Then go back to 9A with your pinky. So we have... Oops. Okay, first finger 6D. Going into a diminished run here. Uh, go pinky 8A. First finger 5A. Pinky 8A. Third finger 7E, or middle finger. And then we need uh, fret 6 on the E with middle finger, whatever finger you are set up for there. Love this part of this riff from theater. So we have... So, uh, for Thomas 3D G, thanks for the Dream Theater request. I'll always get to those theater ones because it, they're one of my favorites, man. They're a musician's band, and I love John Petrucci's playing. Always have since the Images and Words album that I heard way back in the day. <coughs> if you have any questions, let me know though. I'll be glad to clear it up with you. Leave it in the comment section down here. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, once you do that, send me your favorite song pieces and riffs that you've always wanted to learn, and I will hook you up. 
the way these bands are actually playing them. I'm trying to get them string per string, fret per fret. That's my goal. Do I get it right 100% of the time? No, I don't. I'll tell you right now. When I don't, I get pissed. But it happens. And when I'm finding those little mistakes, I put them in the description because I want you guys to know that I'm not just trying to do quick throw togethers. The Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD is done. Me and Matt Wood finished it. We've had several of uh, my subscribers buy it and saying that it, they're loving it and it's helping their playing. Thank you, you guys, and I appreciate your support. I put a lot of thought into this and how to make it effective for you guys. If you're an intermediate to advanced player, I don't advise buying this. There'll be more DVDs coming down the road. Um, unless, you know, there's a lot of stuff on it. It's two hours worth of stuff, but uh, you might be able to pick up a few little things on it. It's up to you, but it's $20 plus shipping. Um, if you're not in the United States, man, we, we me and Matt checked, like, uh, to my subscriber that was in Poland, they wanted $50 for shipping. I mean, that's over two times what the CD or the DVD itself is, is selling for, so two and a half times. So what we came up with, with for you guys is a digital download, so that you can always take that option too. I like hardback copies, but I wouldn't pay $70 for a hardback copy, you know, so, um, but the decision's yours. Hit us up at rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. We'll get you set up with the DVD. And rockinguitarlessons.com, my website's coming soon, guys. The end of 2012. It's $25 a month to become a premium member. I know I have a lot of you that are going to join it that have told me. And thank you, man. I appreciate you guys. Uh, it's going to be a good thing, man, because I, I've thought this stuff out. I want what I do to help you guys. I'm not just doing it just because I have nothing better to do. I really want to make an impact and help you guitar players. And I'm doing kind of a non-orthodox approach um, you know I'm I'm trying to teach the way I learned without getting all deep into theory I want to get you into techniques and, and inspire you and you know we're, we're gonna touch on some basic theory things but not deep guys and if that's something you want there's plenty of other internet teachers you can go to for that I want to get you guys with your guitar in your hand instead of a theory book in your hand alright guys I'm not knocking theory though I'm just saying I'm just saying Alright guys, thanks. Spread the word about me, my channel, my DVD, my website, and until next time, go listen to some Dream Theater. You'll see what I'm saying. Try to play this riff. If you do it, you can be proud of yourself. Pat yourself on the back, and I'll be patting it too. See you guys.